Hey, what's going on guys? Brandon here with Texas Plinking and uh, finally making another video with the old Barrett M82 uh, in 50 BMG. I think it's been like 10 months maybe, maybe plus since it's been shown on the YouTube channel. I of course still have it. It's not going anywhere. I think I show it on Instagram here and there, but uh, yeah, don't show it often enough for sure. Uh, but as you can tell from the title and the thumbnail possibly, uh, we're going to be shooting some interesting stuff leading up to some dry ice. I saw Matt from Demolition Ranch a while ago shoot his uh, M107 at some dry ice. I thought that was a pretty cool effect. So I went to uh, my grocery store and got four blocks of dry ice in the cooler there. So why not? Um, in typical Texas plinking fashion, we'll lead up to it though. We have some uh, three cantaloupes, three watermelon. Kind of see uh, how a 660 grain full metal jacket 50 BMG acts to that. Not a whole lot else uh, needed to say. I guess we'll kind of get into it. But before we do, you know, with uh, the whole demonetization thing, YouTube, you know, they won't really let me make money off videos like this anymore. So it's all kind of for fun. But whenever we get sponsors, uh, it's much appreciated. And this video is sponsored by Throne Kingdom at War. If you're a fan of Game of Thrones, then you'll love this free-to-play strategy game that challenges you to rise up. Call your banners and take control of the ultimate seat of power, whether it's customizing your hero to lead the charge, building up your castles and towns, or taking the fight to your enemies. There's never a dull moment here. It's free-to-play right now, but if downloading something to your phone or tablet ain't your thing, they have you covered. Because you could actually take the fight to your web browser, and there's no patch or install or any other hassle in the way to connect you with millions of other players. I'll leave a link in the description below so you guys can check it out. Again, when you guys support those that support me, that's massive help, especially in the wake of everything that's happening with YouTube and the demonetization. But with all that said, let's get right to the video. All right, guys, you may recognize this table. It's from the uh, 50 Cal versus Bowling Ball, both the 50 AE Desert Eagle and the 500 Magnum. Miraculously, it's still alive. It might be its last day, but I'm going to set up the cantaloupe here, or maybe if I could center it here. Perfect. Try again not to hit the GoPro on any of these. All right, not too far, but nonetheless. Should cause some damage to it. All right, uh, yeah, that disintegrated pretty good. I say we get a fish it and just put two in a line here. All right, it should just graze right through these. Let's see if I have to rework the camera here. All right, firing. That killed the table. All right, I thought I hit the table. Just look at the way it split. But uh, seeing all the cantaloupe everywhere, looks like it was a good hit. Stop the GoPro real quick. That just might be the end of the table. Let's see if we can't. Uh... It lives on. All right, let's get the uh, watermelons. That always has a good reaction for 50 cals. All right, that table is definitely getting split again on this one. All right, fire in. I saw a lot of red from the watermelon and the table just kind of gave up on us there. I'm determined to make this thing stand again. First and foremost, GoPro's still good. I just need this to need to stand up one more time just for the dry ice. Come on now. I think Lifetime, yeah, Lifetime makes this table. That's ironic. I don't know if that heavy dry ice is going to stand on here. We do have one more watermelon. You guys know what's going to happen with the Barrett 50, so why don't we just send it off with something else? All right, one more watermelon left. Let's just get right to the dry ice. Uh, we already know what's going to happen with the Barrett on this one, so. All right, moving on. All right, so far I just want to give a big pat on the back to myself for having the dry ice in line on that table. Uh, this is the very last shot of the table's life, so it served us well. I just realized that table's only been used for the 350 cals I own, so it's going off with, uh, with a really good bang today. All right, I haven't shot dry ice like this before. Shot it with the PS90 once, but this is a big caliber with a lot of dry ice. This should be pretty interesting. Let's see. All right, firing. Wow. That was absolutely worth $70. Oh, that table is literally in two separate pieces at this point. Let's go check it out. All right. Um, that was way cooler than I uh, thought it was going to be. Again, that's, that's a pun intended there, but that was pretty freaking sweet. 
why don't we just get the blocks we have remaining and just kind of shoot it with some smaller caliber stuff just for funsies. All right, we've got a few more chunks of dry ice in the video that way, but uh, you know, we'll end it with the uh, six hour 1911 Emperor Scorpion 45 ACP. You guys haven't seen this in a little while. That's so cool. I love it. That's actually more cool to me than Tannerite. I just love that reactive target. All right, guys. So after editing, I don't know how long that video is going to be, but you know, any excuse to bring out the M82, shoot some cantaloupe watermelon, and then that dry ice. That probably won't be the last time I shoot a big block of dry ice with the 50. Uh, that's really cool. Probably have to do that again with the uh, 50 AE uh, Desert Eagle and the 500 Magnum because that's a, that was really cool. But uh, anyway, just about gonna do it for this video. Uh, I know a lot of you guys out there like the Barrett M82 as much as I do. For those of you guys, uh, feel free to get some merch. I had the Texas Plinkin merchandise with the M82 light fitty uh, silhouette on there. So feel free to check that out in the Teespring store. You have it right below the description, little banner there. Uh, but that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Catch you on the next one.